Welcome to EWN on the couch where we catch up with your favorites both on and off the field. Now the 2020 Tokyo Olympics is creeping closer and closer. Now we just wrapped up the World Student Games in Napoli. So we got a good indication of the talent out there in the world, athletics talent. And one of them sitting right here, Ashley Smith, bronze medalist in the steeplechase, 3,000 meter steeplechase. Welcome, thank you for um, having us or thank you for being with us. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for having me here. It's fabulous to have you. Look at that medal. How does that feel to have that on your neck? It didn't come as a surprise. Um, my coach and I, um, we expected it because we approached the season with the objective of winning all students. So we went into the race being prepared physically, but the uh, only challenge was mentally. Because prior to all students, I missed about 10 days of training. Why? I picked up flu um, when I was in Sweden. Yeah, okay, you're a human. Yep. <laughs> um, so there was a lot of uncertainty before world students. So the only challenge for me was basically a mental battle. So are you happy with that third place though? Not, not actually. You can never be complacent with a yeah. third place because you know, we live in a competitive world and people only get remembered if they win. <laughs> ah, okay, but it's good. It's a good start though. It's your yep. first international medal yep. and also your first European season. Yep. So how was it as a whole? The, in, the European season was all about gaining the experience and preparing me for world students. But most, the main, main objective of the European season was to see what needs to be worked on for 2020 because 2020 is a big year yeah. where we're hoping to qualify for Olympics because qualifying is in a range. So we just tried um, working on a few things and trying to figure out what needs to be done for next year because Olympics is about a year away, yeah, literally, a year literally away, a year yeah. away. So we're just trying to figure out a peaking phase because I don't want to go to Olympics and just be there Oh, I want to, compete, to be there yeah. to compete yeah. and make a name for myself. Okay, interesting time. So the 3000 meter steeple chase event, that's your event. Yep. So it's basically long distance running with obstacles. Yep. So when did normal running become too normal for you? When I was younger, I always I was fascinated by hurdles. But unfortunately, you know, not all of us are blessed with the uh, speed. Okay. <laughs> so when I came to under 17, that's when we get introduced to steeple chase, 2000 meter steeple chase. And then I guess ever since then, I decided, okay, this is what I'll be doing. So uh, what are some of the technical stuff uh, to, to becoming a steeple or a, a satellite athlete, as yeah. they call you, hey? What are some of the technicalities? I mean, it's not just running and jumping. I mean, there's some technique involved. My coach believes you don't jump the hurdle, you run it. So with the, the speed that we're running, there's a way that you just like jump it just to be more economical. Because mm. the moment you jump it is that when you lose energy, etc. So I just try my best. I don't care how untidy my technique is, but if it feels economical, I'll do it. Oh, there we go. So speaking of your coach, um, Ruben Ramulevi, yep. winning that medal, it has that, what has that done for your relationship? Like I said, we approached the season with the objective of winning. Yeah. So we, and he wasn't with you. He wasn't in the worth, area. like, because you know, um, my coach stays in Uppington, so he's a WhatsApp relationship. Guys, it's 2019, WhatsApp coaches. And <laughs> so I don't see much, I like, I only saw him twice, um, but, is a, is a daily feedback between us. So um, what did he say? He was happy with the progress progress we made the last eight months because we didn't expect to make um, such progress as soon as we did. Okay. Know? And Coach Ruben's philosophy of training works for me. And what um, is that philosophy? Um, according to him, um, we first listen how I feel. I first have to give him feedback and then him being the God-fearing person he is, he will consult with God and then he will get back to me and, and telling me what I need to do the next day for training or what I need to do for the following few days. Oh, so it's a nice relationship. Yep. Yeah, and it's working. For it's now working you've got your medal. it's been a very good year. Yeah. Better than what we expected. Um, we only missed one medal, um, which was SA Champs, which was in Germiston. But further on, very consistent. Won eight out of ten races in the local season. Won my first race in Europe and obviously finished third at World Students. So it's been a good year. That's a good look. It's good on the CV leading yep. up to 2020. 20. Yes. Okay, so coming back to where you are now in your life. You grew up in Mitchell's Plain. Yep. Growing up, it's a tough area to grow up yep. in and challenges. How did that sh help shape you as an athlete? I believe everything we go through is there to prepare you for a bigger picture in life. But me, I don't see Mitchell's Plain as a problem, you know, because if you grow up there, it becomes a norm. And I'm not someone that likes to focus on the negative because I have the saying, the tongue is krachta. So people usually, um, they're, they're always talking bad about the place. Yeah. So if you continue to talk bad about the place, it's going to stay bad. But me, I see it. 
I, I just I just want people to focus on the positive. Like there's lots of positive happening. Hashtag funny plane. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw it on all your social media. Hashtag funny plane. Are we gonna make shirts sure now? Not actually. No, not yet. <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll keep it on social media. <laughs> yeah. Now, before we before we go, we play a little game called Just Be Honest. But before that, I need to know. So we're looking into social media. Where did you get the nickname Blocky? <laughs> like when I was younger, like in my area, they call me Copper, <laughs> which we all know. <laughs> you know, when you're younger, you have a big head. And then when I got to high school, um, we stayed on 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 hostel. So okay. those guys, usually all my friends had a nickname, and then mine ended up being Blocky. <laughs> and then ever since that, it stayed like that. Um, I decided to make it my social media names. Own it, eh? Yeah. Own it, Blocky. Okay, so <laughs> it's actual, so we can call you Blocky. Yeah, I don't mind. Lots of people fine. does. Oh, fabulous. Okay, guys, it's Blocky. <laughs> okay, just be honest. You're only allowed to answer me with yes or no yep. answers. All right. Okay. Is it true your family made Run Ashley Run t shirts? Nope. <laughs> Is it true you are competing in a secret mustache growing competition? Because I see you had a mo, but it's gone now. He, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you are, oh, there's a secret competition. No, it wasn't. It was just growing. Like, it's a running thing. But unfortunately, <laughs> my, it, it took too long. It, uh, two months worth of growing and it wasn't progress. <laughs> okay, so Bloki is out, guys. Okay, do you think UWC can win the Varsity Cup next year? Not next year, but most probably in two years. Ah, okay, it's got a nice future, yep. looking to the future. Okay, is it true that you have a life-size poster of Herschel Yankees in your room? Nope. <laughs> If you're on tour, are you the prankster? Oh, no, all guys. <laughs> all, all the UWC guys are the choky guy, guys. Okay, so it's UWC you need to watch out <laughs> for when you're on tour. All right. <laughs> Ashley, thank you so much for joining us on the couch. We look forward to you improving your time, qualifying, and then doing well at the Olympics as well. Okay? Thank you for having me. Here we go. <laughs> Ashley Smith, or Blocky, as we know him now. Go follow him. Go follow his journey. We cannot wait to see what he does in the next year. Thanks for joining us on the couch.